This is the Big Biz Show. Yeah, look at this place. What's so funny about investing money, you ask? Play ball. The Big Biz Show with Russ and Sully hope to answer that. Top-rated, insightful financial analysis. <laughs> if you are looking for insightful financial perspective on key market strategies, keep looking. I told you, this is the Big Biz Show. Hello. See, that's good. See, it works out. This is Russ and Sully. Also, we're in 175 countries and all the ships at sea on American Forces Radio Network. We should look back at the first attempt at a television production of The Big Biz Show with the rear view mirror. AP Silver would have liked it. Oh, we got to get that. Like, Lisa, do you have that still somewhere? I, somewhere, yeah, yeah. Where you put a mirror behind me on the wall. Yeah. And then you were taking a video of me. I don't know if it was the, I don't even, it wasn't on your camera. I, it wasn't it on was your phone. It was a flip cam, it was called. It was yeah, it wasn't really on your cool. phone, though. No, no, no. Because no. they didn't have it on they your didn't phone. Have it so on you actually had a camera. Yeah. You were taping me talking on the radio. Yeah. But, <laughs> but your face was in the mirror. I had to figure it out. Over my shoulder <laughs> to try to get the two shot. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. That was the first augmented reality. Oh, uh, was it? What did it look like? How much is that? 14? Yeah, oh, yeah, it looks just like that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it looks just like that. Wow. Does that mean AP Silverstein's here? Oh, my uh, God. Uh, my. <laughs> AP, that was the first augmented reality is what we did. That was it. We need to show you that video sometime. That was, I swear, I'm going to call that 20 years ago? Uh, 15 years 15 ago? 15 at 15 least. years ago? Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. I'm, I'm calling that an NFT right there, baby. Well, you know. <laughs> you Russ Sully, first Let's AR experience 15 years ago. Let's go. That was the first time we were on camera. I believe. And I think I did some cutaway stuff with you skipping and working. I out. don't recall change. that. It was so fun. Oh, that's not right. happening. Get hey, it. AP Silverstein, of course, CEO and president <laughs> of Imagine AR, one of our favorite guys that we've ever had on this program. And they are publicly traded under the stock symbol IPNFF and, of course, ImagineAR.com. We interviewed a guy today, uh, AP, that is intersecting uh, augmented reality uh, uh, along with uh, mining, mining yeah. as well as uh, you know the, the the you know the replacement of uh, human uh, judgment in terms of putting holes in the ground. But it, but <laughs> there isn't a corner of the universe right now that isn't being touched with augmented reality. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, it's it's spreading wide. And today I have officially my Brazilian club Atletico jersey. You can oh, see because I we that out we quite thought well. you were, because we thought you were still working at Foot Locker. Yeah, on the maybe side. I'm a size. Oh, <laughs> what size shoe would you like to put on, uh, Russ? Size there? 12 and a comfy pump. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, comfy pump is his gang name. Um, <laughs> actually, I broke out of the AR jail. You could see black and white. I was actually right. chipping away at a bunch of rocks. So you back. guys, I, for you guys are really moving towards this this sports uh, um, uh, and entertainment sort of feel um, because obviously. There's a huge appetite for it, and especially with this hot World Cup going on and so on and so forth. Talk about that. And when did you guys decide to make that move? Was that always a part of the plan from the very beginning? That was really a part of the plan at the beginning. As I mentioned in one of the previous conversations, back in the phone card days when I was one of the founders of that industry, we started in sports then. And sports really brings you the cool interaction, the fan engagement, and it gets the attention of investors, it gets the attention of press, and then also brands. And brands are the ones when they come in, really start becoming a major part of the business. But we keep, we have really funneled into sports in a key areas around the world. We just finished a major launch of a campaign with our Brazilian team, which I'm celebrating today. You can see that. That's all using just green screen for placed in Brasilia. And wow. the response from the fans has been unbelievable. They have <laughs> absolutely gone bonkers on this. So uh, the ability to do that with players and then have coupons attached and buy merchandise That's really cool. is something that we're seeing growing. And we do this right in the sports uh, teams app. So sports is going to be a big area, entertainment for sure. But we have some other ones coming. Look at this. Look at the use case on this too. They had three over three thousand percent increase in registrations what? on a daily basis using AR. 3, well, and that isn't and increase. isn't that what this is about though? Yes. I mean, look at in the very beginning. So fun. I mean, we saw social media. And you'd put a post out, and maybe one of something went viral because it was controversial. Then you saw the addition of pictures in uh, in apps like Snapchat and Instagram, and of course, then Facebook, you know, made it a part of their deal. And then it was pictures and sound with music, and, and now it's video. And if you ain't got video, people aren't really paying attention anymore, yeah. especially when it comes into commerce, right? As, as far as uh, advertising, it. both terrestrial advertising and social media advertising. 
Exactly. And you got to have that interaction, but then the drive for a call to action. And the focus is AR is the adoption conversion rate, as we discussed previously. Deloitte did the study, 93, 94% conversion. We're seeing it here, what we did in Brazil, which again, down there, you know, AR is new in that world too. Yeah. You're seeing people get excited by it, interact with it, posting it on social media, and ultimately going to drive revenue. So AR is really starting to spearhead. And I think as we get to the second half of this year, Certainly from our view, we're going to see a major growth in the world of AR with sports and entertainment in sports leagues and teams around the world going into Christmas, which I think will be the year of AR this Christmas in retail. Too. Well, and, and, and listen, and I know you hate to talk about this because you're very sensitive about that video that we overplayed. Very sensitive. I have but, my foot locker but the real <laughs> But the retail thing is a real thing because I think also, you know, there's a, there's a segment of the population. So I was just happening with my parents last night. And uh, my parents, my mom's 80 and my dad's 93. And, you know, there, there is a pop, certain population that has all the money, but they will only spend it the way they're used to spending it. And I was telling, I was actually yes. showing her, hey, mom, could you imagine going to a grocery store and, you know, and knowing if you're taking a picture of something, you've got a coupon there, mm -hmm. or if you're shopping for one of your grandkids and that, so on, so, like, this is a real thing. Now, now is, is it because the fan engagement side is so much more profitable? That, that we like to pay more attention to that? Or is this something that, that, is, that is going to uh, you know, be front and center for a while? Because I love the retail experience also you guys are providing. The retail is coming. COVID hit it really hard, right? So, yeah. I mean, people were just not going out. And now as we come out the other side of the pandemic, you're going to see retail pick up. We're positioned for it well. We have all the pieces of the platform. We could service it. And there is interest in the retail market. It is going to be a key core tenant for us as well as we come out the other side. But COVID did slow it down because people weren't going to stores, they were just hitting the buttons for deliveries. And now stores have to get that audience back, right? They yeah, have to they get do. the consumer back in and it's not gonna be based, based on price. It's gonna be interactive, experiential, fun, yeah, cool sure, things sure, to do sure, sure. that I wanna go back to the store and enjoy that experience and also, by the way, mm -hmm. save some money. And that's where AR is gonna fit in perfectly. <clears throat> and uh, I certainly could size your shoes if you guys want to be on and you mix that in with self-checkout and all that stuff. I mean, you see the exactly. ad, you buy the thing, right. and you just walk out, and boom, 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 right. and everything. That's it. It's uh, going to be the touchless experience. You hit yeah. it on the head. And that's where it's going, and this person will be the first one, and it's going to just keep building up from there significantly. His name is A.P. Silverstein. He's the CEO and president of Imagine AR. Uh, they are publicly traded under the stock symbol IPNFF uh, and their website, ImagineAR.com. I have a question for you, because last time you were on the air, we talked about the, uh, the uh, future of AR that Deloitte put out. It was really interesting because this arc of this AR story changes every, like every week. I mean, it's moving faster and faster and faster. My question for you is, the technology you guys were talking about with us six months ago is dinosaur technology about the stuff you're developing now. <laughs> How, is, that, is that gonna pose a problem or are you just expecting the fact, hey look, we're not gonna be where we are now a year from now because of the way the technology is changing? You hit it on the head and we are already, you know, we, we've increased our development team significantly. We're already building for the next generation. We're releasing the next architecture shortly and we are ready for the future. And when the glasses hit in the next future, as the next generation will be positioned well. But yeah, that Deloitte check showing 94% conversion rate. There isn't a brand sports team entertainer who shouldn't be looking at and saying, I need to be in the AR space. I need to engage. Let's start on mobile phones. There's over 5 billion in the world. And when glasses start to come out in the next two to three years, we are well positioned as a major AR to deliver that as well for both sports teams, entertainers, or live events as well. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Can you just see him out there? You know, in his ref outfit, getting the crowd going? I need my whistle. Yeah. To, the my get, whistle. to the Glary Glitter Hay, Glary Glitter Hay song, Rock and Roll Part 2. You need a jersey from uh, Italy. That's, That's right. Italy. 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 Italy won the, uh, the big one. <laughs> Italy. Hey, P, we'll see you soon, pal. Probably next week. Get your butt here in the studio. We can't wait to hang out with you. Alan, Paul, Silverstein, CEO and President, Imagine AR. Mm -hmm. IPNFF is there. Here we uh, go. Look at this. We yeah, just shot up. the confetti that. cannon. And Sully. Right off the stage. Boom. That's it. Sully explodes. Blew me up again. So weird. Yeah.